As soon as bearings are released from their packaging, they're pretty much instantly subjected to the elements of the world. Strictly speaking, water, dirt, and moisture. So it's important to have shields or seals on your bearings, but sometimes they're just not enough protection and your bearings get corroded. So now you're going to need to clean them, but before you can get inside to clean them, we need to know how to take off the shields or seals that you have on your bearings. So let's take a look and see what kind of bearings you've got. Bearings come in three different cover types. There's rubber seals, pressed in metal shields, and removable metal shields held in by a C-ring. Removing rubber seals is really easy. You just need to use a paper clip and poke it on the inside of the inner ring just a little bit and pry it out. Putting the seal back in place is just as easy. Just lay it back on top flat and just push around the edge until it snaps back into place. To remove metal shields, you just need to take a thumbtack, a pin, or a needle and just stick it into that little open area and pry it out. I'm going to use the end where I can put my pin in and poke it out. If you look really close, you can see that the end of the C-ring is cut at an angle. Now that I got the C-ring out, you can see how the different ends look a lot better. To get the shield out, I just need to tap it on a surface and it'll fall right out. And to replace the shield, just slide it back on top. And I'm going to put both ends of the C-ring in first. I think that's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to pinch the rest of it and just let it slide and lock into place. It's pretty easy. Pressed in metal shields like this one are not removable. And there's little maintenance that can be done once these types of bearings are corroded. Now that you know how to easily remove and replace your shields or seals from your bearings, take a look at the rest of the videos on how to clean them. It includes how to make a bearing cleaning kit and knowing what type of lubricants and cleaners to use, so check them out.